we're back with the People Chronicles. I'm Jackie Hoffman along with Mark Ratcliffe. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you're back in Berks County. I know that you like to travel here, there, and everywhere, which is okay as long as you come back. And you yeah, did. It is. And you have an event coming up. Uh, the Pretzel Fest. Yes, the Reading Pretzel Fest. I'm sorry I keep forgetting and how I can let out the little town of Reading Pretzel Fest yes, now. Yes, the yeah. Reading Pretzel Fest, which will be September 28th at First Energy Stadium. It's going to be from 11 o'clock until 5 p.m. Uh, we're going to kick it off with an I Am Able uh, wheelchair challenge for the kids. And then after 5 o'clock, when we finish, there's going to be an I Am Able um, kind of fundraiser for them after the event with a motorcycle jump. But the festival itself is going to be awesome, filled with every pretzel vendor in the area, uh, a craft beer tasting. We have three bands out there. Um, we've got a whole series host of restaurants that are going to be coming out sampling their pretzel dishes that they're making that hopefully people will be able to try Can you this give me month. an idea of Sh one of those pretzels? Sure. Some of the crazier, I, and I really, again, quirky, fun, and that's what I want them to do pretzel dish-wise. But uh, uh, Philip at Papillon has done a pretzel tapas which we're going to uh, be sampling on Thursday, a number of different pretzel <laughs> dishes, which is pretty crazy and fun. Uh, Go Fish is doing a pretzel encrusted white fish uh, in a mustard sauce. Uh, Peanut Bar, of course, had created a brand new pretzel pie. They've had their pretzel pie on their menu for years, but they're doing an inside out pretzel pie Ooh. for the festival, yes. And Judy's is doing a pretzel sandwich of some kind. And then we're, we, do we just have, I don't know, there are a dozen or so restaurants around. The best restaurants. The best restaurants and the most creative chefs are out doing this. That's excellent. Yeah. So there's a lot of pretzel tasting to be done, a lot of entertainment, something for everybody there. Yep. What is the cost to get in? Five dollars. Where does the five dollars go? Five whole dollars. You know, this year my goal is to break even. So... <laughs> Our $5 is going to marketing and creating, um, you know, some excitement for the event. Excellent. Yeah. And for the community to understand that they are the Pretzel City. Yes. Maybe sooner or later they'll get that. Yeah. So what happens after this event is finished? I know that you have some other ideas that are brewing. You know, the, the date is going to be here and gone before you know it. And the fact that you have these events on the way and you have them in the back of your mind and in your back pocket and all these great things that you have and activities taking place. What do you get out of the things that you're doing for our community? Well, you know, this event is a fundraiser. Uh, you know, it is trying to create a festival that, again, celebrates who we are as an area. Um, and the reason for that is like an attitude adjustment for the area. I think I had mentioned earlier that, you know, one of the negatives about the area that I found is just the attitude. So what I'm trying to do is bring to light and raise to the surface all those businesses and events that are spectacular in this area, that we should all go out and enjoy. The Pretzel Fest is really just a platform to get businesses together, to show off who we are as an area, and to kind of celebrate all the great things that are in this area. So, and I, you know, it doesn't begin and end with the Pretzel Fest. I think there are some other things that we can do. I'm also working on a bike race that uh, they have a Criterion uh, racing um, series that happens in our area. And it happens in a lot of really great little towns like Lidditz, uh, Westchester, Phoenixville. I mean, all these cute little downtowns. And we're, so we're trying to bring that to West Reading. Um, and it's a full day of this bike racing. Um, we probably will tie it in with I Am Able again. Uh, and they've got hand bikes, so they'll do a like a, a handicap bike race to kick it off, and then it goes into like a women's race and an amateur race and then a pro race um, that'll be happening. And these guys do like 50 laps around um, West Reading, we're hoping. And... Um, the amount of people that come out for it and the restaurants get packed and it's just a really, really fun day. So that's the next uh, thing that we're working on to kind of show off who we are as a great city. And the thing is, is that it doesn't cost them anything when there's people in this area who want to say, you need X amount of dollars to do this or there's not enough money in the city to do that. But I think 
It's more so a matter of taking a chance on something new. They don't want to take that chance. It's just another step down. And it's not that difficult to do when there's so many other people that want to help out and make Reading a better place. Absolutely. In general, I think uh, there there's some really great and positive attitudes around here. Um, but, you know, I think it is a matter of flipping that switch and saying, you know what, instead of the knee-jerk no, how about like, okay, yeah, let's give that a try. Why not? I mean, you know, I think we went through a really tough economic time and a lot of people came out of it with a, you know, what the heck, let's give it a try attitude. And it's awesome because I think a lot of those attitudes are changing who we are as an area um, and who we can be and who we will be. So, it's you know, it's fun to go up to Allentown or down to Lancaster and see how they've grown, um, and I feel like they're growing a little bit faster than we are, and I think a big part of that is their attitude. And I think if we can just change our attitude and be more of a yes we can attitude, that it will happen. Absolutely, so September 28th is the date of the Reading Pretzel Fest, mm -hmm. and uh, what I find so very interesting is I am, he you know, the social media that's going out and about around, y you see it all over the place, so you're getting something right. I mean, that's how I heard about it, and yeah. it's very interesting and intriguing, and anyone can go to it. It doesn't matter who you are, and I think the I Am Able Foundation, they're right on with trying to do the same thing that you're doing with these different ideas and yeah. new ideas, and that's the other thing that we didn't talk about was the fact that, yes, you need people that are going to take a chance, but you also need the people that want to try something new and not be afraid to try something new. Right, exactly. Um, you know, what my reason is for doing this is to just make a better area. You know, I'm looking to help improve this area, and I think if we change how we approach what we're doing in this area, um, kind of participate in some of those great things, or even start up some new things, uh, you know, if somebody has an idea that they want to start up, you know, just get out there and do it, because it's going to enhance where we are as an area. And that's, that's really what I get out of it, is working on something that is working on improvement and making things better. This is where I live. I've embraced this area. I'm here. My kids are here. They're having a great time in school, and I would love for when they get to be my age that this area is really blossomed, and I think maybe that's my end goal in this whole thing. Perfection. I like that. That yeah. was awesome. Now, yeah. if people are listening or watching, and they want to get in touch with you, what's the best way that they can do that, Mark? Well, they can go to readingpretzelfest.com. There is a link there if they want to touch base with me. Also, our Facebook page, which thrilled to say, I think we're a little over 800 likes as of today, and it's only been up for two and a half months, so that's some great participation. Um, they can reach me through that as well. All right. Thank you, Mark Radcliffe. Okay. Thanks, we'll look Jackie. forward to that September 28th. It's the People Chronicles. I'm Jackie Hoffman.